Authorities are calling it a double booking bait and switch scam that cashed in $8.5 million, according to a new indictment unsealed on Wednesday. Two men, Shrey Goyle of Miami and Shanique Rahia of Denver, are facing fraud charges for over 10,000 misleading listings on short term rental sites, Airbnb and Verval. These individuals controlled about 100 properties throughout the country. They were located in Los Angeles, Denver, Chicago, Savannah, South Bend. Cleveland, Nashville, Austin, and Milwaukee, among other places. They would use these properties to double book and drive out the prices for the properties. When it came time for the consumers to use the properties, they would then cancel on the people who weren't the highest bidders. Authorities say the scheme had several moving parts, using numerous fake host accounts with names like Alex and Brittany, Jess and Tyler, or Chris and Becky. Goyo, Raheyu, and their associates would post multiple listings of the same property on websites like Airbnb and Verbal at different prices on the same dates. Once booked, they'd select the guest who booked at the highest rate. Others would get an urgent call minutes before their check-in, explaining an unforeseen issue like a plumbing mishap. Guests were then offered a different property, misleading them to think it was similar or even an upgrade. I attempted to rent an Airbnb in Chicago with friends and was told at the last minute that I wouldn't be able to check in due to a plumbing issue. Ali Conti fell prey to the scam while on vacation with friends. She says the host told her she would need to stay at a location different than the one she had booked, sharing photos of what looked like a clean eight-bedroom house. Instead, she says she arrived to find a grimy, rundown home. It was kind of in squalor and then found out that I was unable to get a refund. I begrudgingly stayed at this disgusting new location for a couple of days. A seasoned journalist, Conti started digging. Others who booked with the same host, sending her photos of tattered furniture with apparent cigarette burn holes. Much of what she uncovered became the basis for the DOJ's investigation. I received essentially a steady stream of emails from people begging for help. According to the indictment, Promises to guests of a half or full refund for their troubles went unfulfilled. And if guests canceled, Goyo and Rahida allegedly lied to the platforms, saying guests had stayed in the property. Many of the victims they harmed identified as black. Just as concerning is that they would base their decisions on who to rent to based on discrimination and prejudice. An attorney representing Mr. Goyle telling NBC News his client denies allegations and looks forward to defending against them in court. After four years, Conti finally seen progress. How does it feel to know that there's an indictment? Now I just feel really grateful that, you know, the victims that I spoke to trusted me with their stories and that the DOJ took this seriously and have actually done something about it. Guad Venegas joins us tonight from Miami. So, Guad, what are Airbnb and VRBO saying about all this? Well, Tom, it's been a few years since this happened. According to the indictment, these scammers began operating in 2018. The victim we spoke to says she was scammed in 2019. So Airbnb says they've been able to make changes. They were also able to identify those accounts and remove the users that were associated to the scams. Now, the changes they've made include asking for verification for both listings and also for the users on the site that they hope will deter others trying to scam in the future. Uh, Verbal has not responded to NBC News for this request for comment. But again, all of this happened years ago, so there has been time for the companies to make changes and moving forward, Tom. All right, Guad, glad you uh, flagged this for us. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.